Alright, hey everyone, it's GSTAR321 here again, and today I'm going to be playing Mortal Kombat 1. Okay, finish off this uh, arcade collection playthrough. I've done Mortal Kombat 2 and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, you can watch those videos. Uh, but today I'm going to do Mortal Kombat 1, so let's get it started. Here we go. Now I've set the difficulty, I've just left it untouched, okay, it's on normal. Um, this might be a bad idea because the AI is still fucked in this game as well, alright? In all three games on this, the AI is fucked. Um, however, on Mortal Kombat 2 and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, the difficulty doesn't matter if you change it, okay? It's the same. So I don't know what the point of even having a difficulty select on those games is. I guess it's just to make you feel safe and secure that it's actually doing something when it isn't. But uh, for Mortal Kombat 1, the difficulty change does actually reflect in the game, okay? So if you put it on very easy, it actually is very easy. Um, if you put it on very hard, it is very hard, okay? But I've left it on medium, so it's still going to be bullshit. Uh, as is standard, you know, the first few fights will be relatively easy. But after that, it's just going to become fucked, alright? So let's go ahead and do it, alright? Um, for the purposes of finishing these games, you know, and getting the achievements on the Xbox and PS3, difficulty select doesn't actually matter. Alright, you can finish it on very easy and you'll still get the achievement. I'm going to go ahead and pick Sub-Zero here. Fuck, this game is so old, man. Look at this shit. What a classic. I first played this game... Uh, on the Amiga 600, okay? That's how old this game is. Fucking back in 1991 or whenever it came out. And I remember it came with an instruction booklet. Uh, sorry, an instruction booklet. And uh, in the instruction booklet... Fucking hell, I can't even say booklet properly. I'm saying bookslet. What the fuck is that? Some German word for it. Yeah, in the booklet... Uh, it didn't tell you the fatalities, which was very annoying because um, it's one of the reasons I love this game. Uh, so here we go, I'll do sub zeros. That was probably my most favourite fatality in this game, alright? Fucking awesome, it never gets old. Alright, so yeah, it didn't tell you the fatalities in the booklet, the manual, which was fucking annoying, and it had a space for you to actually write it down and work it out yourself. You know, there was no internet back then. You couldn't just go online and, you know, on your computer and type in Mortal Kombat 1 fatalities. It didn't work like that. You had to actually sit here and, through trial and error, figure out the distances you had to be standing to do the fatalities, figure out the button presses, the key inputs, you know. So, and I actually managed to figure out two people's fatality by doing that. Uh, Scorpions and Johnny Cages. So Scorpions I can still remember which was up up from a sweep distance and Johnny Cages which was forward 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 high punch, okay? And I was so happy when I figured that out, you know, I was just a kid. Um, but you know, nowadays that's just fucking absurd, you know, sitting there trying to figure out. No one's going to have the patience to do that when you can just fucking go online and you know, type in Mortal Kombat 1 fatalities. It's just ridiculous. Fuck! No! This is... I'm really thinking about changing this to very easy because I don't know if I've got the patience to deal with this shit anymore. You know what I mean? Like... Fuck! Look at this shit! Get the fuck away! Yeah, I really don't know if I've got the patience to be doing... Fuck! No! Scorpion beats me, I'm seriously going to consider starting this again, okay? Yeah, fucking lucky you didn't, you fuck. Get that fucking head off you. Prick. And, you know, this game's still going strong in arcade cabinets around the country, you know, around the world. It's just, it's like Asteroids, you know, it's a cult classic, it's just there to remind people of the good old days, you know, pop in a few coins and have a go, but uh, fucking AI is fucked, okay, I've sort of burnt myself out after playing 
Mortal Kombat 2 and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 playthroughs, you know, just... I'm so burnt out now that I don't even think I have the energy to scream or rage anymore. Like, if I get... If I'm getting fucking destroyed, I don't know if I even care. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> Fuck, I love that fatality. Sub-Zero wins fatality. I've picked Sub-Zero straight off the bat because in terms of beating the AI... Oh, here we go. This was a... I forgot about this. This was a really cool addition to the game, you know, just a little mini-game. Break the boards and shit, get more points, whatever. Progressively gets harder as you go up, you know, you gotta break stone and then diamond, which is fucking insane. <clears throat> yeah, so I picked Sub-Zero here, he's the best character uh, for beating the AI in this game, alright? Fuck, that was bullshit. <clears throat> God! This game can still bring out the fucking rage in all of us, okay? <sighs> Fuck off. Every time I do the fucking freeze now, he's gonna s block it and spam a fucking... Oh no. God! You just fucking... Mm! Fuck! Can't uppercut him when he's... When I freeze him, crouch like that, okay? Fuck! Fuck! Yeah! You fuck! That was fucking so lucky that I decided to do that, uh, ground slide there, or it would've fucked me up. <sighs> See, the, the problem now is I'm not too concerned about, uh, these standard enemies. I'm very concerned about when I make it to the endurance rounds, okay? I can perceive big problems occurring there with this AI, but I mean, we'll see how it goes, alright? Fuck! Stop spamming that fucking... Oh, fuck you! Yeah, this is gonna fuck you up, man. Get the fuck out of here. A simple uppercut on the pit stage here. We'll uh, uppercut them into the pit. Doesn't say fatality for some reason, but gives a fuck. This is gonna be a uh, Kano's cannonball fucking spam fest, I can tell it. Yep. Fuck! Okay, thank god. Jesus Christ. Would have been rage if I fucking missed that. Alright, so every time I freeze him, I always go in for the uppercut. It's the most powerful move in this game, alright? Does the most damage. Mm. Oh. Uh, also with... Fuck! Fuck! God damn it! Also with, uh... The AI, and in terms of their spamming... Their punches when they get close to you, that is extremely fucked in this one, okay? Mortal Kombat 1. I'm gonna die here, this is fucked. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can get a fly kick in, come on. Yeah! Alright. Shit. Failed. Yeah, in terms of uh, those spamming the low punches or high punches when they get close to you, that can be very, very fucking annoying on this one, okay, Mortal Kombat 1, because um, it seems to go on forever. Like, they'll have you in the corner and they'll be spamming it, and, you know, ten seconds later you're still there getting fucked up by it, and three quarters of your health, health is gone, and you can't move. It's There's no, there's no fatigue from the... So to speak, you know, like uh, in Mortal Kombat 2, you can only do say seven, and then your character is fatigued, and you both stagger back. But in this one, the fatigue seems to go on forever, if there is a fucking fatigue at all. So, what the fuck? Oh shit, that was fucking lucky. God damn it! Fuck! Oh Jesus! Fuck! Fuck. <sighs> What's this fucking... Yeah, fuck you. Try and do a fucking uppercut mid-kick, you fuck. What if I fucking... Sp Get out of... The oh, no, it's fucking... Ah! So the AI is getting really fucked up now, okay, like I'm talking 
when I'm doing roundhouses, I'm getting instant sweeps and uh, all sorts of fucking horse shit, okay? Like I said, I'm not too concerned about... I mean, these fights are fucked, but um, I'm more concerned about the endurance rounds, okay? That, that's going to be fucking brutal, okay? Just fuck off. There we go. With the endurance rounds, it's um, on very easy. You can just spam Sub-Zero's freeze, you know, and just go crazy doing that, but um, on medium difficulty, I don't think that's going to allow me to do that, but uh, we'll see what happens. It's really hard. The fly kicks in this game, are, you've got to really time the... Fuck! Jesus! mid fuck. I wonder if I can change the difficulty mid... I mean, if I'm really getting fucked up here, I'm going to be doing that. If it allows me to do that, okay? Because this is just fucked. Look at this shit. Fuck off, man. Oh my god. I don't know what to fucking do. I can't... Look at this. Roundhouse is... Fuck! No! I can't do anything! I can't do fucking anything! <sighs> it's either Sub-Zero on... Fuck, I'm gonna pick Kano. Who gives a fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. Kano's got a really nice fly kick, okay? His, angle, his fly kick angle is really good. Fuck off! That was bullshit, man. Oh no. Fuck! That punch! Bullshit! God! Yes! This game is so frustrating! The difficulty is unrelenting! This is on fucking medium. Who would play this shit on hard? What's the point? Like I've said in the other two games, you know, unless you develop your own software to counter this software. Um, fuck, I can't remember how to do his fatality. That's disappointing. Because I really like that one as well. You know, he rips their heart out. <sighs> Shit, that was fucking hell. I'm really bad at this. I was very lucky there. There's no way I'm going to be able to break the diamond. The diamond goes all the way to the fucking top. So no chance with that shit. Fuck, that's bullshit. Yes, get this fucking kick spam shit going, you fuck. Yeah. So after when I block his cannonball like that, I've got to nudge a bit forward because when I did the high kick just before. Ah, oh, fuck, that's bullshit. When I did the high kick before, it didn't reach him, so... <laughs> yeah! Oh! What the fuck? Okay, I honestly don't know what the fuck I just pressed there, but, um... I mean, I... My controller, I think I pressed, like, back, down, forward, low punch. But, uh... I don't think that's the way to do it. Yeah, this is going to be fucking bullshit, okay? Um, like I said, the endurance rounds are fucked on... Look at that! Oh, God. Scorpion is fucked on, uh, on this. He keeps spamming the spear into uppercut. Very, very damaging combo, okay? This is fucking bullshit, man. <laughs> Jesus! You're kidding me, you're telling me this is all I have to fucking do to... Oh no. Yeah, Scorpion, you prick. Mm. Oh no, that's it, yep. Alright, so that's really damaging. I mean, I'm guessing that spear into uppercut takes away... Uh, fucking... 
willing to guess a quarter of your health. It's just bullshit, okay? Three endurance rounds. This is this is way too much, man. Seriously, I don't have that much endurance to get through this, but... Fuck! Mm. God! Get the fuck out of here, okay? That was very lucky. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to replicate that this time. I got very lucky there. See what I mean? Like, it's like the first round is, you know, they sort of... Fuck, what the hell was that shit, man? Oh, fuck. God! Fuck, it's just good if you can get one uppercut in, because then you can just start going crazy with the jump kicks. Fuck! <sighs> Fuck this. <sighs> God! Alright, maybe I can get the jump kicks going here again. Problem is, uh, Scorpion now. Okay. Yep, that's, uh... Yeah, you've really got to get a flawless victory, basically, on the first character to actually stand a chance of getting through this. Oops, I, uh, fuck, I meant to pick, uh, Sub-Zero. Oh, well. Ah, oh, that's right. If I can remember correctly, if you sort of get him in close enough like that, you can, you can always hit with the spear. Uh, but, um, we'll see. Yeah, see, if you get him, this might be the uh, method. Fuck, I hate Johnny Cage. See what I mean? If they get in close enough like that, they don't tend to block the sphere. Get the fuck out of here, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> you know, it's cheap, but I honestly could not give a fuck. This game is bullshit, okay? Ah, get it! Yes! I was lucky I almost missed that then. Come on, Johnny Cage, walk into me. Ah, fucking punched instead. Oh, you fuck. Okay. Alright, I don't know what's going on here. The AI is scaring me a bit. Jump! Jump kick! Fuck! Oh! <laughs> oh man! Alright, I'm really... I'm gonna have to change the difficulty here because this is, um... This is impossible, like... Okay, it's, it's countering too many of my moves. Um, like I said, you've really got to get a flawless victory on this first character to stand a chance of, um... You know... Look at that shit, man. Fucking sweep instant. Instant sweep off. Oh, man, that's... Look, I'll give it one more go. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt here. I'll pick, um, Sub-Zero. If this doesn't work, then, you know, fuck it. There's still two more endurance rounds. That's fucking... That is fucked, man. It's very fucking disheartening. Okay, that's good, but... You know, this is just the first round, so it doesn't really matter. Fuck! Fuck! God damn it! It's fucking in the corner! God! God! What the fuck? 
Kano fucking ducked my uh, freeze. It's a bit. I don't think that's gonna happen too often though. Yeah, you fucking cunt. Oh my fucking lord. Jesus Christ, this is fucked. Alright, let's go see if we can change it here. You're fucking kidding, I can't even change this shit mid game. <coughs> That is fucked. That is fucked, man. Alright, look, I'm going to give it one more attempt. Um, if it fails, I'm going to restart, but I'm not going to record it. I'm just going to re start recording from the uh, endurance rounds, okay? Because this is fucked. It's like the first round is, you know, they're, they're, they're bearable, but... You see what I mean? But like, the second round they just start blocking everything, which is f blocking and countering all your moves, okay? It's fucking annoying. See what I mean? Like I did a sweep, the AI... <sighs> What's also annoying is this... Fuck! Is you can't, um, do the... Like when you do a jump kick, if you go too far behind them, it doesn't convert into the backwards jump kick, okay? just misses completely and it leaves you vulnerable for an attack. Alright, so the AI is out of control now, alright. It, it seems like they've got a time limit, you know, if you can... It's about 40 seconds and then the AI just starts kicking in full force into bullshit, like I'll show you. Johnny Cage will start uh, blocking all my shit now. Um, in a minute. Whoa. What the fuck? What is going on here? I'm, I'm slightly confused. What the fuck? Alright, I don't know what happened then, but um... <coughs> I barely took any damage, that was insane. Alright, we'll see how this goes, but... What the fuck, man? What? Oh, there we go. I don't know what's going on. Oh, fuck's sake. Mm! You try and jump away from Sub-Zero to gain some fucking distance, but... He just, op just does the fucking freeze bullshit on you. It's like... Just look at that... <coughs> Alright, so this is fucked now. Well, it's doable. Maybe this has instilled some sort of hope in me that, you know, I can do this, so we'll see what happens. It's you got to get these jump fly kicks going. It's like, it seems to be... Fuck, if they get me in the corner like this and try to... See that fucking punch? Oh, Jesus, fuck, man. Get the fuck away from me! Fucking spam these kicks on me, fucking cunt. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, alright? You gotta spam those high kick, those jumping kicks on them basically to fucking win this shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh no. Yep. Okay, so that's not good. So, see what I mean with the jump kicks? Like, if you go too far over them, you'll miss. Like, and it leaves you open for an attack, which is fucking annoying. Ooh. Alright. Fuck you! Fuck, that was very lucky. Okay. Got very, very, very lucky there, alright? See if I can do this shit now. Fuck, I didn't mean to press the fucking button. Oh man, fuck this. I'm getting fucking angry at everything now. Alright, this is a cool stage. I like this stage. Goro stage. There's, I don't even think there's music on this stage. It's just. Wow, Liu Kang, man. See, look, look at this shit, look. There's no, there's no fatigue, alright? If he kept doing that, 
he could have killed me. And, I, and there's no, nothing I can do to counter it. Alright, so if they get you in the corner like that and you're crouch blocking, um, you're fucked, alright? You're just gonna have to accept... You're just gonna have to get hit and then jump out somehow, alright? <laughs> you can just hear Liu Kang screaming. It's pretty funny. Ah, Sonya is my arch nemesis, Kano. Ooh. Alright, I'll probably have to do this again. This is fucking bullshit, man. That first round with Liu Kang was just a fucking joke. Fuck, man. I just heard a, gro just heard a growl in the background there. That would have been Goro. Because <clears throat> as soon as you finish this endurance round, from memory, I think he just jumps uh, into the... He just jumps straight into the, the level. Like, you don't go back to here, this ladder. You go up, he just jumps in. What the fuck am I doing? It's fucking blocking everything. I'm not even... Come on. Nah, this is over. I've taken... Yeah. Taken way to... You, oh, fucking hell, I hate it when they get in close to you like that and just spam the punches. If they made some sort of counter for that shit, you know, I'd be happy, but... The only counter is to just maintain dis distance from them, but sometimes they just gain ground on you. It's impossible to keep that much distance, you know what I mean? Stop fucking blocking that shit. It's a good way to... If it actually hits them, Kanan's cannonball, it's a good... See? Then I can just follow up with the jump kick, so it's... It's a good way to gain distance, but they tend to fucking block it. See what I mean? It's fucking annoying. So I've got to get distance again, and try again, and they'll block it, okay, and kick me, and... <clears throat> There's really no point picking the other characters, you know, like Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, they're all shit. <sighs> Seriously, Kano's just got the best fly kick. <clears throat> I might pick Sub-Zero after this if I fail again. Yep, went too, too far there. Alright, so perhaps there is a time limit of about 35-40 seconds before the AI starts to lose it. Um, as you can see, I've already wasted about 5 seconds there just trying to fuck around with the cannonball move. So, as long as I can beat them in, say... Fuck, wrong move! God! God, what are you doing, you fuck? Alright, there we go. Fuck, a f pretty disappointing. I've managed to do that fatality once, but... Alright, here we go. Oh, you're standing a bit too close to me, dude. <laughs> Straight into a roundhouse kick. Alright, so... I think against Goro, it's basically just spamming Sub-Zero's Freeze or Raiden's Torpedo, okay? I don't think he's possible to defeat with any of the other characters because he just, as you can see, he's blocking everything and... There's really nothing you can do against him, alright, because he just blocks it and counters with a punch, which takes away half your health. So I'll show ya. Oh, got him there. Yeah, so. What the fuck, man? Alright, so I'll pick our Sub Zero here. And we'll see how we go. Sub Zero against him. Shang Tsung's... Shang Tsung is fucked from memory to, to beat in this. I can't even remember if Goro is that bad, I mean... He seems to be, he's blocking everything. Which is not a good sign, okay. Fuck! How am I gonna do this? Maybe it's just, uh... 
Ah, yes, okay, yep. Now it's coming back, alright. Fuck! That's the fucking problem there, okay? I'm not... <laughs> alright, so basically all I've got to do is freeze him, uppercut him. Um, I've got to time that freeze perfectly again so that it freezes him just as he's getting up. Uh, and while that happens, you know, he doesn't have time to do anything, so... That's really the only way to defeat Goro here, so... No, I've timed it too late. Um... Okay. Try again. There's a bit of a delay at the start of this, like... God's sake, there we go. Um, at the start of the round when it says fight, there's a bit of a delay before you can actually attack, which is off-putting. Alright, I might just do a fly kick finish it. There we go. Alright. So that's all you got to do. Um, there's a lot of room for error, so you've got to be flawless. At Fuck, okay. Look, I've lost it now. You know, It's just taken too much damage off me and he's going to... Yep. Yeah, okay. There's really no room for error whatsoever, okay, in this sort of shit, so... Which is fucking annoying because, you know, like I've mentioned in the Ultimate World Combat 3 video, the Xbox 360 controller for fighting games is fucked, alright? And there is a cooldown for Sub-Zero's freeze. Um, which is fucking annoying as well. Fucking hell, do it! I'm defeated. I'm just... I can't believe this. This is just fucked. There's no other word to describe this shit, man. Fuck. Hell, thank God. Jesus Christ, this is bullshit, man. Seems like if I miss that freeze off the... Like, immediately off the starting round, like the start, um, I'm fucked because he just goes into, like, a grab move. He, he gains distance, he goes into a grab move, he throws you. Um, before you get up, you don't have a chance to do anything, and he punches you, and there's about... Yep, see, so... The rounds... Oh no, maybe... He didn't do a fireball then, so... Oh, he blocked it. Oh, there we go. I don't even care to get angry anymore because this is just so fucked. It's not funny, man. It's just fucked. You can't do this on Shang Tsung from memory, okay? Uh, there we go, he's fucked off, thank god. Um, yeah, Shang Tsung's going to be fucked. I'm not really sure how to defeat him. Um, he's he's very fast when he, he's. I think he's easy to defeat when he's in that form, like that. But he's extremely fast, and um, yeah, it's just fucking annoying. See what I mean? You can't you can't gain distance on him. He turns into fucking Goro as well. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Fuck now, man. That was very lucky. Oh, that's fucking bullshit. Oh, maybe I can defeat him if he stays in Goro's form here. Okay, there we go. Alright, so I got lucky there. I mean, uh, it's really just luck on getting through this, okay? There's no strategy for this. It's just fucked.
Hopefully he stays in Goro form for quite a while because this is... Ah, oh, okay. Wow. That wasn't... <laughs> that was uh, pretty easy actually. Fuck. I, I just remember Shang Tsung being a fucking bitch to beat on this um, Mortal Kombat 1 arcade, but you know. I guess it's dependent on who he morphs into, you know, Goro, and you can just spam that freezing bullshit on him if you get lucky, so. <clears throat> there we go. After receiving blah 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 blah. Mortal Kombat 1 Arcade, there we go. I've just completed all three games now, you know, 1, 2, and 3. Um, I'm gonna have to say that Mortal Kombat 2 was the most fucked in terms of the AI. Um, this one probably comes. Uh, this one's probably tied with part 3, okay? In terms of the AI being Johnny fucked, King. because. Uh, there, look, there were times in this one and part 3 where the AI cools off, okay? and becomes sort of shit and easy to defeat again. But in part two, it is unrelenting, okay? The AI does not let up. Um, oh, there you go, Ho-Sung Pack is Liu Kang. I forgot, I keep forgetting to mention that. Um, obviously all these characters are digitized and played by motion ca capture actors. Actors. Um, Liu Kang is played by Ho-Sung Pack. Uh, Ho-Sung Pack is a Korean and uh, he plays Liu Kang in this one and Mortal Kombat 2 as the motion capture actor. Now I don't know if you guys know but if you like Kung Fu movies and uh, look he plays Shang Tsung as well, Ho Sung Pak. If you guys have ever seen Drunken Master 2, the Jackie Chan movie not the first one, the sequel Drunken Master 2, Ho Sung Pak is actually in that movie as an actor, okay? He plays a bad guy and he has a few fights with Jackie Chan and I didn't actually know this when I watched the movie. I was quite young. I was about four, 13 or 14 when I first saw Drunken Master 2. And I, I can remember watching it and thinking, fuck, that guy looks exactly like Liu Kang. That's fucking Liu Kang. You know, and I always used to say, look, it's, it's uh, Jackie Chan versus Liu Kang. And then a few years later, I actually discovered that it is Liu Kang. <laughs> so, you know, if you watch Drunken Master 2, you will see the real-life Liu Kang... Uh, actually fighting, okay, and he has a good fight with Luke, uh, Jackie Chan at the end. It's a, it's a great movie as well, okay. Um, so yeah, just a bit of trivia there for you guys. Um, so that's it. That completes my uh, playthroughs of Mortal Kombat games, okay, Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection. Overall, it's, look, it's not a bad package, the arcade collection. Uh, the online play is completely fucked, alright, it is unplayable for me, um, because I'm in Australia, so puts me in games with Americans a lot of the time and the lag is just fucking absurd. So, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'm out. Bye.